show just for you. This is the show where we take you through an exciting, fun-filled journey here with us at Church of Joy Sidewalk Sunday School. So let's get ready for My Sidewalk Sunday School in real life. one of your own craft. Okay, step one, you wanna get your marker and your paper, and you wanna first draw one line going down just like this. Does yours look like that? Good, I hope it does. And then you wanna make another line going across, just like that one. See, I hope yours looks like that because that was step one of your own craft. Okay kids, let's put our craft aside and we're gonna get ready for song time. And for song time, we first gotta warm up our voices. Are you ready? La 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 la. La 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 la. La la la. Oh, sorry. We gotta get ready for song time. You ready? Here we go. One, two, three, go! But guess where we are now? We're in the flag factory! And this is where we get ready for our pledges! So we gotta get ready to say our pledges to the American flag and the Christian flag! Oh no! I forgot my flags! Factory emergency! Oh, I got my flags! You ready to say the pledges to the American flag and the Christian flag? Well, I want every little boy and every little girl to stand up straight, put your hand on your heart, and when I count to three, we're gonna say the pledges. One, two, three.
kids, I hope you've been enjoying the show because today I want to take you on a super duper awesome adventure. But for this adventure, we got to go sub level. So come on. <laughs> a great job on those pledges and I saw you guys putting your hand on your heart and standing up super duper straight but you know what now it's time for today's I mean your own crap but before we get to step two I'm gonna let you know a little secret the cool thing about doing your own crap is you can do whatever you want when we start drawing you can do squiggly lines and shapes and whatever you want that's why it's so cool that you're doing your own crap so let's begin step two of today's craft. First, you wanna get your marker and also your paper. And in the first box, I'm gonna draw a square and a line. But don't forget, you can do whatever you want because it's your craft. And the next box, I'm gonna do a squiggly line, and a squiggly line, and also a line, just like that one. See? And in this box, I'm gonna do a triangle and a circle. But don't forget to do anything you want to do because it's your craft. In the last box, I'm going to do a rectangle boop, and another rectangle just like that. So that was step two of your craft. Okay, so let's put our craft aside because now it's game time. Yay, I love game time. Game time is one of the most funnest parts on the show. But first, we got to wiggle. Get your wiggles out just like this and then stretch all oh, super duper high. And you know what, we're gonna get ready for game time. I gotta get back to the sidewalk. <laughs> the elevator's this way, sorry. Hey boys, let me tell you this point. Here's the deal boys, I will not come up here and let a girl beat you in basketball.
Wow, kids, we had so much fun today. In fact, let's take a look at all the fun things we did today. We sang songs, we did our pledges, and we even just finished up a super duper cool game time. But now it's time for us to calm down. Ooh, take a deep breath, calm down. And we're getting ready for the teaching time with Pastor Louie. So make sure you sit up straight, put your hands in your lap, no wiggling or jiggling, and let's check back in with Pastor Louie at Sidewalk. Are you going to go the evil way? 
Are you going to go the, the way that Jesus wants you to go? You always have to ask yourself. Halloween is here. There's a lot of scary movies coming on. Haunted houses. Scary stuff. You need to find out which way and what you're going to do. Because God doesn't want us going after evil things. Somebody say amen. that we listen to everything Pastor Louis says because he tells us about the wrong choices to make and the right choices that we need to make. And you know what? You can start practicing everything you learn at school, around your neighborhood, at home, anywhere. And don't worry because God will help you and so will we. So let's get ready for a super duper awesome story and we're going to check right back in at Sidewalk with Pastor Louis. <laughs> because it is Saturday and there is no school. And he's like, hey, Allie, let's hurry up. We have to meet our new friend, Sean. And if you remember, last week or a couple weeks ago, Cool Raul met a brand new friend who just moved into the neighborhood called Sean. And they're going to the park so they can have some fun before sidewalk Sunday school and the buses come into the neighborhood. So Cool Raul grabbed his little ball of yarn for Allie the cat. And he's like, let's go, Allie, to the park so we can have some fun. And Allie was like, me, yeah. So they get out in the neighborhood, and he's like, okay, Allie, let's get to the park and back before it gets dark out. Because when it gets dark out, boys and girls, you never know what can happen in the neighborhood where Ku Raul and Sean live. Halloween's coming up, and the gang is always trying to scare people. So they get to the park, and they meet up with Sean. See, that's Sean, the new kid in the neighborhood. And Ku Raul's like, hey, Sean, good to see you. Hey, let's hurry up and play and have some fun. I brought Allie the cat, and we're going to throw the ball of yarn and have a whole lot of fun in the park. Sean's like, hey, Ku Raul, I'm ready to play. I'm ready to have fun. Let's hurry up because it's going to get dark soon. So they start playing around. Before you know it, it's 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 4 o'clock. Next thing you know, it's 6.30. It's starting to get dark out. And before you know it, it's 7.15. And it's dark outside now in their neighborhood. And the gang is always trying to scare somebody. So cool, Raul. Look at Sean and he's like, oh no. We've been having so much fun, we lost track of time. We gotta get home, it's getting dark. And Sean's like, man, I don't like it being dark. Let's go. So they leave the park, and they're like, okay, Sean, we gotta stay together because in the neighborhood, we really shouldn't have stayed out this late. Okay, even Allie the cat is a little nervous too because it's dark out, and they shouldn't be running around outside in the dark. So they come across the game. And the gang is always trying to scare people around the time of Halloween. See the gang? They don't care about evil things. And being that it's dark outside, it's super dark. So the gang, they get ready in their costumes. <laughs> scare them and we're gonna scare them good. You got it? And they're like, yeah, we got it. So the gang gets set up and they jump out of the alley and Biggie Boy's like, boo, you girls. And Ku Raul's like, oh no, it's, 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 wait a minute, it's, <laughs> that's Biggie Boy stretching. Look, man, that's all y'all are. And Biggie Boy's like, it's not Biggie Boy, it's Biggie Bang. <laughs> it's Biggie Bang. Stretch. Stretch, man. 
and you got a little man there, and now he's a cat done fell out. <laughs> so they tried to scare him, but it didn't work. And so Cool Raul and Sean are like, whatever, Biggie Boy. Don't you know it's not nice? It's not nice to scare people. I told you guys that. God doesn't want us doing evil things. We were created for that. Come on, Sean. It's dark out, so let's go home. So, Cool Raul and Sean, they leave. They're like, thanks, Cool Raul. I'm never going to scare people like that. Or at least, I'm not going to try to. So they leave the alley. And while Sean and Cool Raul leave, Biggie Boy and Stretch and Lil' Man, they look at each other and they're like, man, see Stretch, I told you this wasn't gonna work with that yellow stain on your dirty bed sheet. <laughs> told you it wasn't gonna work. And Stretch is like, whatever, man, whatever. This was Biggie Boy's idea with his little brother's Batman suit on. When you try to scare people. Don't run to evil things. Every head bowed, every eye closed. Nobody talking, nobody playing. Nobody. That was an awesome story time we had. And you know why we take so much time teaching you and giving you stories, having fun and games? It's because the most important decision you can ever make is to have a relationship with Jesus. And having a relationship with Jesus isn't just saying a prayer. It's more than that. It's where you give Jesus your whole heart, your whole mind, your whole body, and your whole soul. And you know what? You can pray that with me today on this show. So if you want to do that and have a relationship with Jesus, then bow your head, close your eyes, and repeat after me. Say, Dear Lord Jesus, I know that I'm a sinner, and I know that you died on the cross for me. I ask you to come into my heart and live inside of me so I can love you with my whole heart, my whole soul, my whole mind, and my whole body. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay kids, now it's time for the last step of today's, I mean your crap. You ready? Now, you may be looking at this like, what did I just draw? But that's the thing. This is where you can do whatever you want to do. So let me see, what can I do? I know I'm gonna draw a squiggly, 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 and another squiggly, and then some more squiggly, 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 squiggly. I like squiggles. And then you can turn it like this. And I'm gonna add something in the middle just like that. And look what I made, a space creature just like this. And in the next box, I'm gonna draw a line here, boop, and another line, boop, and another line, and another line, and look at that. Do you think you know what it is? Well, to me, it's a slide. See, you can make whatever you wanna do, and that's why it's so cool that you got to make your own craft.